Hello, this is Chris McVeigh with KD Direct, and today what we're going to do is show you how to test a power system that's already been built into a platform. Here we have a fully built and flown platform, but we, but we want to isolate one motor and ESC to test in this system to make sure everything is fine. For safety, we should have all props removed before we power up any part of the system. In order to isolate one power system on this platform, we only need a spare battery with the correct voltage to run our receiver. We already have everything else on the platform to conduct our test. Our receiver should have nothing else plugged into it. This allows us to use it in this test to properly arm one power system at a time. Here I'm going to remove the SBUS connector on our system. Your receiver, you should remove all other connectors that are attached to it, leaving the receiver bare. We want to isolate motor one. In order to do that, we're going to simply plug motor one into the throttle channel of the receiver. With channel one plugged into the throttle port on the receiver, we sometimes have to remember that in order for an ESC to arm, an individual ESC to arm, we have to reverse the throttle channel in the radio. And on this setup, the stock ESC outside of a flight controller, that is true. Each radio system will vary. It will either be normal or reverse, and you just have to remember that in order to properly arm the ESC. On this system, again, it has to be reversed, and so I'm going to go into my radio and reverse the throttle channel. Now that we have the throttle channel reversed, um, we can bring power to the receiver and then main power onto the whole system, which will arm the whole system, it will arm the individual ESC, and it will arm all the other ESCs. But nothing will spin because there's no signal going to them. And we have our props removed uh, for safety reasons. So now I'll bring in my secondary battery and plug it into my receiver to arm the receiver. And there we go, we get a green light. Now I'll power up the entire flight controller and the individual ESC we're looking to arm. If the individual ESC did not arm properly, we would simple, simply reverse the throttle channel in order to get it to arm properly. Now that the system is set up, we can test the individual motor. What this allows us to do by ruling out an individual power system is to isolate it and test that power system by itself outside of the flight controller. Um, with this setup, we can go through each individual arm and test each ESC and motor to make sure that they're operating correctly. What that allows us to do is rule out the power system itself. Um, by ruling out the power system itself, it allows us to look to see if there are other issues within our platform. And this is how you test an individual motor, an individual power system with a flight controller that has already been built into a system. I hope this video helps you out by ruling out individual power systems. This is a very simple process to do just by having a spare battery connected to the receiver and isolating each individual power system. This will help you rule out and troubleshoot problems that you're having with a flight controller or a, a general platform. 